Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions, and one of my personal favorites. Very, very happy to see this character finally get into the game, Dexter Loomis. Um, I want to start... By giving a massive shout out to the design team on him. Um, in terms of a 3D character model, I can't think of any that are this close to their actual in-person look. Um, yeah, they they absolutely knocked this one out of the park. Big ups to the design team on that. He's a modern era focused striker. Trainer ability at 26k. Multiply gems do 45% more damage. Would have personally liked to see maybe a plus two blue MP as well, but is what it is. Links, raw, any color moves start with one more move point. Modern era gems do 5% more damage. He only gets those links once. Um, and just the one standard set of gear. Okay, I do have one one complaint. Um, I would have loved for his bio to just be a thumbs up. But portraits of his destruction's badass. Um, again, big Dexter fan. So just marking out a little bit over actually having him in the game. Um, this is going to be the free-to-play approved edition of the preview. Now, what does that mean? It means the entourage that I will be using for these builds um, are people that are easily gettable in the game. I'm not going to be using drip plates. I'm not going to be using finisher trainers. I'm not going to be using Matt Hardy. I'm going to be using like an MP trainer, a gem generator, Santa Hogan, and whoever else for gem damage. It's going to be very, very basic. Um, but he's still really good with just basic builds. Very excited to bring this preview to you. Um, the first thing we're going to do is show the three-star build. I do, however, want to start by saying um, if you get him at two-star bronze, finisher, sub, and the open hand uppercut is how I would run him at two-star. Um, but the three-star build we're going to show for this preview, black two and two of the green moves. Black 2 is the open hand uppercut 7 MP, deal 149,878 damage, and make 11 random gems into black gems. Green 1, the Bulldog, 4 MP, deal 127,934 damage, and choose a 3 by 2 area to swap into black gems. Green 2 is a Luthez Press 7 MP, deal 156,843 damage. And increase the damage of all your gems by 35% for one turn. You will notice in this preview, he is very similar uh, moveset-wise to Dakota Kai. Um, what she has in botch gems, Dexter has in, you guessed it, silence gems. Entourage for this, Steel for Green MP, Titus O'Neil for former Black Gems. Hall of Fame Bree, she was given out... Uh, two more black gems at her 17k coach ability, Santa Hogan for some gem damage. And for the belt, I'm going to be using the exact same setup for the entire preview. We're not bothering with plates on him. I do have one set of Fury 2s and one set of regular Fury, so we're getting about 95% gem damage on the belt. And we're going to go against this Santa Hogan, um, not strapped up, but boosted stats with a class advantage over us. Reason being, the six-star match in the challenge tour is Acro Dominic, and he covers like the entire board with heal gems every single turn, so we can't get any damage against him. It would be a two-hour preview. Um, so we're going to we're gonna aim a little lower here. Um, but but Hogan is a uh, class advantage. Dexter does have his monthly boosts in the game active. Silence gems do 50% more damage. All color moves start with two more move points. 
and all colored gems do 50% more damage. So do keep that in mind throughout this preview that the values are a little higher. Um, that's kind of why I went with a regular Fury set instead of a set of Fury 2s. We're trying to like temper expectations maybe a little bit. It's, it's tough when they give them a 50% gem damage boost and then say go do a preview. And you have to picture it having that little bit less gem damage, but you could always make up for it with a better belt. Um, so, let's see. They even, they even nailed that. They even nailed that. So we're going to start with the Luthes. Bap, bap, bap. Increase your gem damage. So our black gems are doing 70k. Green gems are doing 49. Choose a 3x2 area to swap into black gems. Would have liked that without that. Try to give yourself some greens. That, that works great! Wouldn't, wouldn't you know it. But this is basically just the gem chucker build. Again, very similar to um, what Dakota Kai has. We're going to no sell Santa because it's April. And then we're just going to slap people all preview. 1.6 with some black gem spam. And that move is just going to recycle itself. So toss up when you get whether or not you get the green move filled up for the damage increase. But the black move, making 17 random gems, chances are you're going to match a few of them. What you could maybe do here since this is 4 MP... I'm going to say try to give yourself a wild card. It's probably going to backfire, but... Okay, we got the wild card, but we didn't get a pur um, purple. We didn't get a green match. Not the end of the world. Punch him in the face and then slap him in the face! One point seven critical hit. So really straightforward gem chuck and build. He's a striker, so the fact that he's doing that with his primary color means it's going to be decent damage. Uh, let's see what we can do with him at four star. Next build we're going to take a look at is available at four star, bringing in the finisher, the submission, and the swanton bomb. Finisher being the belly-to-back suplex leg drop combo, and I flipped out when I saw this move. I'm like, they really gave him the kip-up leg drop? Yeah, they gave him the kip-up leg drop. Let's freaking go. Uh, 10 MP, finisher deal 260,845 damage. Make 36 random gems into silence gems and pin the opponent. Running that with the rear naked choke 8 MP color submission. Choose seven gems to make into black submission gems and do 146,512 damage for four turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into silence gems. And yellow two, the Swanton Bomb, 8 MP. Deal 173,593 damage and make 36 silence gems into yellow gems. So the submission loads the finisher... The silence gems from the finisher get converted into yellow gems. Everything loads back up. Entourage for this. Kofi for yellow MP. Um, Shibutsina at 16k. He gives you plus 2 yellow MP and 45% damage to your yellow gems. Uh, gonna throw on Gargano because that's the way. 15% uh, more damage to the silence gems and an extra silence gem keeping on the Santa Hogan. And nothing special with the belt. So we're going to start with the submission. To be safe, we're going to do two three matches. And then scatter those around. 
I don't think using a submission reduction coach here is all that beneficial because you're going to make a bunch of silence gems with the finisher anyways. Here it is. Slow it down. Kip up. Leg drop. So cool. So cool. Everything about Dexter's character in this game is freaking perfect. I wish the victory pose was a thumbs up. I just need the thumbs up somewhere. Other than that, very impressed. One point seven again, that's free to play value. Everything recycles. We are going against a five star, so a six star would have kicked out of that. You would have recycled, everything would have gone fine. But let's go ahead and see what the five star build is. Five star build we're going to look at is triple black. I did try doing the five star move with the finisher and the bulldog. I just prefer the recycling consistency of triple black. Um, so the finisher, the open hand uppercut, and black three, five star move, the eight MP spinning spine buster, deal 161,179 damage plus 34,842 bonus damage for every silence gem. Again, basically what Dakota had last month, but with silence gems instead of botch. So we're going with Woods for Black MP, Titus for Black Gems, keeping Gargano for Silence Gem damage and an extra Silence Gem, bringing in Hall of Fame Bree for two more Black Gems. And uh, as you can see on the top right of your screen, no drip plate. Plenty of stars though, but no drip. So we're gonna start by um, Hitting Santa in the face because it's April. No! Really? My bad, dog. Let's run that back. No, no. No, I might be okay with it, but we can't. We can't be having that. That's too easy. Let's run that back. All right. What we're not gonna do is hurt Santa right away. I'm just going to take the black swipe here so we can actually start hitting moves. This way he can get all his junk out of the way. And off we go. So belly to back. And I'm going to actually slow this down proper now because we need to fully appreciate um, the beauty of this move. Drink it in. Theater. Cinema. Art. We are doing about 57,000 bonus damage for every silence gem again. Let's take a good look at this. Again, theater. Cinema. Art. 1.6 mil. Yeah, I'm a mark. I said it. Don't at me. I know. Oh, okay. Let's do it again, then. Bap. I'll slap the taste out of your mouth. And again, free to play. Nobody special training. The values are a little boosted because of the monthly boost. Instead of 40k for the silence, we're getting 57. You could make up for that with um, Molly Holly as a coach. Um, either trick Kevin Owens or trick um, Corporate Kane as a trainer. So there's ways to substitute that. Let's go see what his six star build has to offer. The six star build we're going to run is triple green. Um, again, free to play approved edition, no chic plate, 
not necessary. However, I will do a run it back with the sheet plate just because. Uh, we're doing the Bulldog. We're doing the Luthes. We are bringing in the Slingshot Suplex 7 MP. Deal 153,962 damage and choose a 4x4 four four area to make into Trap Gems. If broken by you, deal zero damage and make seven random gems into green gems. If broken by your opponent, deal 280,057 damage. Entourage for this, steal for green MP, tech booker for green gem damage, showboat Lacey for green gem damage, Santa Hogan for any color gem damage and pleasantly surprised with this one so with this although i have them ordered this way that's just because that's the order in which the moves appear on the, the uh, character sheet what you want to do is hit the luthes first increase your gem damage what we're gonna do is reduce it again because theater with the slingshot suplex boop Boop. This man is just so great. Uh, let's go. Let's go there. I'll speed it up. Don't worry. Um, and now, choose a 3x2 area to swap into black gems. And would you look at that? We played that perfectly. Night, Santa. Thanks for coming. Let's go ahead and wrap things up. So that concludes our first look at Dexter Loomis, the silence, the free to play edition of the preview. Stay tuned for the run it back. I will test out a drip plate. I will test out a chic plate. I will test out a Rhonda's baddest jacket plate. We are going to see if we can get him to punch up a little more. But let me know what you think in the comments of this video. Are you a Loomis fan? Happy to see somebody brand new in the game. I know I am. If this means we're getting Indy Hartwell and or Candice LeRae, bring it on. Reunite the way. I'm ready. Index forever. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend. Thumbs up.